Aries, May is such an exciting month. I am probably going to end up giving you more of a traditional horoscope this month because there's a lot to discuss and it is very relevant for you and for every sign actually. But before I get into your monthly forecast, I want to let you know that registration is open for my next round of students. Uh, enrollment's open. If you want to get into the beginner's level astrology class, and this class will begin in July, but I can take you as far as you want to go. We start at the beginning and I have an entire curriculum that will take you all the way through advanced and professional if that is your desire. This class and all of my classes are personalized using your birth charts in the lesson plans and in the homework assignments. I offer you unlimited email support while you're my student. And if you cannot attend the Zoom classes live, don't worry, you will get the recordings. Everybody's on a different time zone. Many of my students can never attend live, but of course you are invited and most welcome to if you can join us. In this beginner's class, you're going to learn about the foundations of astrology. You're going to learn properly. You will understand the planets, signs, houses, basic structure of a birth chart, the elements and the modes. You're going to really get that strong, solid foundation so that you can move forward with confidence into chart analysis. So if you want to register, go to insightfulastrology.com. The early bird registration rate is currently on my website and it will save you $50 off of tuition. I am closing this class out once I reach 35 students. So if you are thinking about it, I suggest you get in on the class because I will not offer this class again until 2025. All right, so Aries, we're starting with your money. I am quite excited about finances for you, I must say. You've been on a roll and last month in April, you certainly felt it, but this month that trend will continue. And I am talking about this amazing new moon in Taurus that will happen on May 7th. And this new moon has Venus close to it. So there's Venus in Taurus, there's the sun and the moon, and Uranus and Jupiter are in Taurus as well. So you have literally half of the sky in your second house of earned income at the time of this new moon. Jupiter is getting ready to leave Taurus, but stays in, to, in Taurus until the end of the month. So this is your month to make amazing strides with finances. I want you to do whatever it is that you have never done before in order to make money because Uranus is a heavy influencer right now for you when it comes to your money. On the 18th, Venus will make an exact conjunction to Uranus in your earned income sector. So this is sudden money opportunity. And again, anything with Uranus is what you've never done before, something progressive and unusual, random opportunity that seems to fall in your lap, take advantage of it. This can also be connected to technology. If you are someone who makes money through technology in any way, you're going to make bank. This is exciting energy. I'm loving it for you. So please do not waste this. I don't think you understand how rare the cycles are. Yes, we get a new moon in this part of your chart every year, but think about it. When do you think the next time is going to be that you get a new moon in your second house with the planet Jupiter? That's not going to be for 12 years. What about a new moon with the planet Uranus? And, um, and, and that's not going to happen for 84 years. What about Jupiter and Uranus together in Taurus? Uh, you'll be long dead. Okay. So will I, so will your grandchildren. It's not going to happen forever. Okay. Basically for, um, so this is such a rare cycle. You want to take advantage of it. Don't waste it. Get out of your comfort zone. I promise you it's going to pay off. All right. So moving forward. There is a full moon in Sagittarius. I'm not going to talk about that too much for you because it's not the most important part of your forecast, but it, it, it is happening on the 23rd in your ninth house. And maybe that means you're graduating, getting some kind of a certification. And that would make sense, completing some kind of course of study, getting some fulfillment with spiritual uh, studies or finalizing a trip abroad. I happen to be doing all of the above, actually, <laughs> and I am an Aries rising, and I will be getting, I, I will be finishing up a, a formal horary astrology course by the first week of June. I will be 
I'm definitely going to be finishing up my trip to Italy. I'll be going to Italy the second half of June, but around that time, I'll probably be finishing up all the, you know, last minute preparations. That's pretty funny. Okay. Sometimes astrology blows my own mind, even though it shouldn't after all these years, but something as simple as a lunation, when it touches your chart, it can really be uh, loud if it touches your chart by degree. So for example, while it's true that for many Aries and Aries risings out there, this new, this full moon is just a full moon in your ninth house, it might not be touching a planet. It happens to be conjunct my natal moon. So it's much more powerful and there's a lot going on there for me. But anyway, for you guys, it may or may not be as important. What is going to be important is the transition of Jupiter into Gemini on May 25th. And that is what we are going to discuss next. So Jupiter is that planet of growth and faith, expansion. Jupiter's job is to blow up whatever it touches, does not discriminate. It can blow up something for good, something too excessive, and maybe it doesn't feel so good. Uh, you know, like when you overeat on Thanksgiving dinner, you're like, why did I do that? I really shouldn't have done that, but you can't help yourself. That's kind of Jupiter's energy. But Jupiter is going to move into your communication sector now for the next year. And with Jupiter in your third house, there is likely to be a great deal of expansion when it comes to communications uh, areas. You can start a podcast. You can start your own YouTube channel. You might start a blog. You might start writing that book you've always wanted to write. Or you may sign up for a class. You may decide to be the teacher. Okay, this is a time where your mind is going to be very stimulated and you want to grow. I will tell you, I think you're mentally juggling with this Jupiter transit because Jupiter in Gemini, Gemini is more than one. So you might feel like you're multitasking with several communications projects and uh, you want to be careful about that so that you don't get too scattered and, and not finish whatever it is that you're starting. But overall, I think this will be a very exciting time. And a lot more short trips are on the horizon for you. So this is uh, weekend getaways, drives, something that is driving distance, not international. And you'll have this energy for the next year. So it's very exciting. If you have siblings, there might be a big expansive opportunity for one of your siblings that you hear about in their life and something worth celebrating. So that's always nice as well. And that is your main energy, Aries, for the month of May. Let me know in the comments how this is turning out for you, how it is uh, making sense in your reality, and how you're going to use these opportunities. Use your cycles, my friends, please. It is too important to waste.